Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. The state of Michigan reporting more than 2,200 new cases of COVID and 20 deaths since numbers were reported last on Saturday. That brings the state's total to 876,000 cases and the death toll rises to 18,627. Some major retailers are dropping mask requirements for vaccinated shoppers. Target announced today that vaccinated shoppers can go without face coverings and Meyer did an about face now saying the same while employees will continue to wear masks. Others on the list include Costco, Walmart, Sam's Club and Starbucks. The Great Lakes loons lifting all face mask mandates in outdoor areas no matter your vaccination status to follow CDC and state health department guidelines. But fans who are not vaccinated will be required to wear masks in indoor areas, which include the Loons Loft, Team Store, and bathrooms. The Loons are back at Dow Diamond tomorrow for a six-game series against the Lake County Captains. Now for the complete listing of Dow Diamond COVID-19 protocols, go to the Monday Hotlink section of WNEM.com. Critics of the CDC's guidelines point out that more than 37% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated, but 60% have received at least one COVID vaccine shot, putting the nation closer to President Joe Biden's goal of having 70% of adults vaccinated by the 4th of July. Now to hype and help, that is, in the global fight against the coronavirus, President Biden says the U.S. will send an additional 20 million doses of authorized vaccines abroad by the end of June. And the Biden administration will start giving many families with children under the age of six up to $300 a month starting in mid-July and $250 for each child seven and older until they turn 18. The money is part of the $1.9 trillion coronavirus rescue package. The temporary benefit will be sent to 39 million households through December. Now it will cover roughly 88% of children in the United States. And now here's Brian with a look at your forecast. All right, thanks very much, David. Our new work week off to a rather summer-like start around mid-Michigan on Monday. High temperatures made it well into the middle and upper 70s when we should still be lingering in the upper 60s. And this taste of summer is not only not going anywhere anytime soon, but in fact going to be cranking up a bit further as the week goes on. For tonight on the first Warren 5 Sky Tracker, high pressure remains in control of our weather parked over Lake Michigan. It's going to slowly build off toward the east into New England over the next day and a half or so. It's going to stay close enough tonight to keep our skies clear with comfortable overnight conditions. But then this area of low pressure is going to take that opportunity as the high slides east to begin drifting northward over the next few days. Associated with that is this elongated warm frontal boundary to our south that will also be lifting northward really helping to ramp up our temperatures by the middle of the week, but also as a consequence, giving us a better shot at some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms as the week goes on. So hour by hour forecast heading from the eight o'clock to midnight hour. Any leftover spotty clouds will quickly dissipate with the lack of daytime heating. We'll be left with clear skies from midnight on into the start of our day tomorrow morning. Eight o'clock looking great as you're heading out the door. Temperatures will be pleasant. You'll have plenty of sunshine and we're going to keep it that way for the balance of the daytime period here. Midday still enjoying mostly sunny skies. We will then begin tomorrow afternoon to see some high clouds edging in from the uh, south and west ahead of that low pressure system that's beginning to lift north. But as you can see through mid afternoon and even into the evening drive tomorrow, we're keeping things dry tomorrow night when the clouds really start to build into the area. You'll see here over my shoulder a couple of light showers managed to sneak into the west side of the state. It's during the overnight period tomorrow where a few of those could also pop up here and there in mid Michigan skies, not terribly being well uh, indicated there. But then as we head toward Wednesday afternoon, as the temperatures start to warm up. That'll give us a better shot at some hit or miss showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder here, and then that'll be a repetitive trend as the temperatures continue to warm during the second half of the week. Before tonight, definitely a round of open window sleeping weather, 52 year overnight low temp with mostly clear and comfortable conditions. 79 the high for tomorrow. Some of us may even manage in an isolated spot or two to top the 80 degree mark. That'll come with partly cloudy skies and then the chance for a spotty evening shower. 78 on Wednesday, better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that's going to be a daily occurrence through the middle of next week because we're really, I should say the start of next week, we're really rank, cranking the temperatures up as we hit the uh, Thursday time period. We'll see highs climb into the mid 80s and stay that way through the upcoming weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.